My name is Dr. Arthur Rapkin. I've practiced for 35 years helping people to relieve their suffering and pain, to resolve chronic health problems, and to promote and create personal vitality. Welcome to our center. Today we'd like to talk about what does it take to create personal vitality. I have some things I'd like to share with you, some of which you might be familiar with, some of which may be new to you. I suggest that there really is no health care in America. What we have in America is something I would refer to as treatment of disease. Now the two strategies that are most frequently used are drugs, pharmaceutical medications, and surgeries. Here at the Vitality Health and Wellness Center, we use what we call alternative medicine. What is alternative medicine? In my own belief, alternative medicine is an alternative to the drugging of America. I'm not saying everyone should throw their medications in the trash basket. I'm merely saying if there is another strategy, a strategy that could help to resolve health issues without the use of pharmaceutical medications and their dangerous side effects, that would be the strategy of choice. I really didn't start out uh, as a healer or as a doctor treating people. I was a young entrepreneur and had a zest for life and I traveled to other countries and began to study other cultures of people and I discovered Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine is the oldest medicine on the planet. There are more people who have been treated with Chinese medicine and acupuncture than all other forms of medicine combined. So we use acupuncture as what I call a high-tech strategy. Now acupuncture alone sends messages into the brain. It's the only strategy that actually sends messages into the brain by using a fine wire that's like a cat whisker, permeates the nerve endings that traverse the surface of the body and sends a message into the hypothalamus pituitary and adrenals. This is an amazing procedure that happens in a way that most people don't understand. Most people would think that acupuncture is a, a difficult procedure. Who would want to be punctured with needles? But in reality, it's 180 degrees different. Most people fall asleep during their sessions. We have young children, six, seven years old, getting treated here. So acupuncture proves to be something extraordinary in, in, the, in the procedure itself and the results it provides. But acupuncture isn't the answer for everything. So we combine it with something else I call premium fuel. This is a concept that I think most Americans would agree when I tell you about it to be an effective strategy to utilize in giving ourselves nutrition. You see, most of the things that we've been led to believe are food really aren't food. People think Cheetos are food. I used to think Cheetos and a soda was a snack. See, people think that bagels or breakfast cereal are foods. They're really not food. So not only are we not getting nutrition, we're starving ourselves. When you starve yourself, your body is deficient. And when you're deficient, you are open up to getting disease. Your body has to function normally, and it can't function normally if you're not putting in premium fuel. You know, some people have a car that says premium fuel only on their gas tank, and I assure you that they're all using the better grade. How many people think that way when they shop and they go to the grocery store? Most people would think, well, this is on sale, I'm gonna buy this ground beef. This, these eggs are on sale, why would I buy more expensive eggs? Now, for those of you who don't realize this, uh, growth hormones is going to cause growth in, in Americans. That's why we have more obesity than the rest of the world combined. You know that Americans have more cancer than the rest of the world combined. We have children that are 12 years old that have type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is really referred to as adult onset diabetes. This typically is a disease that you know, if you haven't done anything and you're sedentary in your adult years from 20 to 50 years old, typically that's when people would have gotten diabetes. Now one in four children have adult onset diabetes by the age 12. They're saying that this new generation of children, 50% of them may not outlive their parents. By 2020, one out of two children will have type 2 diabetes. This is a scourge on the American public. This is what's going to destroy the so-called health system in this country. But as I said before, I don't really believe there is health care in this country because there really is not a reward monetarily for doctors and medical professionals to spend a lot of time educating people. You see, if you educate people the way we do in our practice at the Vitality Center, you end up with having to close health care facilities as people's conditions are resolved. You can cure type 2 diabetes 
by instructing people to make changes in their diet. People need to stop doing some of the things they're currently doing and begin to do some things that they're not implementing in the daily diet. There's a term called physiological homeostasis in the medical field. What it means is the body has an unbelievable mechanism that can restore normal and even create optimal function. We call that vitality. Every day there's a hundred thousand cells that are born in the body. It's the health of those cells, or as I call it, the vitality of those cells that really dominate our overall health. So if you're waking up in the morning and having no breakfast, if you wake up in the morning and have a breakfast cereal, if you wake up in the morning and have a bagel, you go to lunch, you go have a uh, fast food at McDonald's, some people don't even have time to eat, What's going to happen is typically the average American, by the time they roll around to six, seven o'clock at night, they're starving, they're deficient, and then they begin to make even worse choices. This is the patterns that have to be created. Let me tell you how some of our, our structures work here. First, we see a patient and we, we try to really understand what are their goals, and then we can choose what strategies and combinations of things we have that can help that person to achieve those goals. So for instance, the first one we believe in, food is medicine. The most powerful medicine in the world is food. Another strategy we utilize is the high-tech supplements. You know, there are supplements that we all grew up with, and there are supplements now that really are mind-blowing in what they can create. Extraordinary results with the supplements that we utilize. We have the finest research and development that looks into the best products on the market available globally, and those are the products that we use. What is the result? It upgrades your metabolic system. It upgrades the brain function. It upgrades everything in your body because you can't eat that much food to try to get as much nutrients as you can. So even if you're eating premium fuel, you have to supplement. Most people would agree that we have an overdrugging in America. They're trying to drug every man, woman, and child into taking some type of drug for a condition that could be resolved with things like better eating or supplementation. Now I know supplementation is difficult for most people to do well because you can go into a health food store and actually buy anything. You know, it might say women's concerns or men's health and you have a well-intended clerk who wants to help you so everything is supposed to be good. But that's not necessarily the way to get the best results. Best results are to take the least amount of supplements that have the highest amount of product, that have the best results. And that requires uh, expertise. So after 35 years, we bring that expertise to the table of people who come in. Nutrients stored in the body, that's the home of fat. Fat is the home of nutrients being stored just waiting to be called upon. Yet because we're so full of chemicals, because we over, overdose on all these, these things that aren't even food, we're putting wheat in, we're putting beef in that's full of growth hormones, we're eating chicken and, and, and eggs from chickens that are full of growth hormones and antibiotics, the hypothalamus, the pituitary, doesn't really know how to function normally anymore. That's why Americans age so quickly. It's unbelievable to see the difference that when you reset the factory settings in the brain, when you, when you go in and upgrade the hypothalamus, when you reboot and set everything back to factory specs, one of the side effects is you lose weight. How much weight? Listen to this. Every woman who comes to us loses about three and a half to five and a half pounds a week. We can predict this. It's so across the board that we can actually state what it's going to be for everyone. That's an extraordinary result. That's an extraordinary program to utilize. Every man, 7 to 11. No matter who you are, if you're following the program under our guidance, one-on-one -on -one supervision, one-on-one -on -one counseling, you're going to lose 7 to 11 pounds a week. We like to say up to 30 pounds in 30 days. That's the average result. This is the secret. This is the foundation of real health. Real health is like farming. The principles aren't fix, repair, and replace. The principles are plant, nourish, and cultivate. That's what we do at the Vitality Center. Plant, nourish, and cultivate personal vitality. If that's something that you're interested in doing, I invite you to join the healthcare revolution. I invite you to come to the Vitality Center, utilize our methods for six, eight, 10 weeks. That's all it takes and see how you feel. Try acupuncture. 
If you're not feeling better between the first and the third treatment, you may not be a candidate for acupuncture. It's not the answer to everything, but it is sure something better than taking surgeries and medications and years of suffering needlessly. Again, Arthur Rapkin, my purpose is to help as many people to relieve needless pain and suffering, resolve their health problems, and create personal vitality. That's why we call it the Vitality Health and Wellness Center. We're a group of people dedicated to helping as many people as we can and making positive contributions into your lives. If you were driving your car and on the dashboard, the check engine light kept flashing, most people would say they take it in to get it handled. If you have fatigue, if you have pain, if you have difficulty sleeping, if you're not functioning and living life to its fullest, I suggest click here, start now, begin the journey, take the action step, we offer you the opportunity to come in and see if we can help you. Thank you for coming. Click here now if you're ready to move ahead. Remember, health begins with self.